Ik ben zelf even een video op te vragen, maar we zitten hier in Aldinga Bay in Australië. Um, we zitten hier live met uh, Redmond en Sarah en Hans. En uh, we're here to uh, answer our questions. Jullie kunnen vragen stellen via Twitter. Gebruik dan hekje VPRO BGL in je, in je Twitterbericht. En we zien alle berichten gewoon voorbij komen met, uh, met die Twitter tag. Um, I already saw one question. Uh, someone was wondering, Redmond, uh, how's your Dutch? Because uh, in one of the scenes you were nodding understandingly when uh, Bert Sliggers was talking Dutch to you. It is so good. Ik wil je kop kussen. But I may have to kiss her. <laughs> She's very cold. <laughs> Uh, wie ook bij ons is, by the way, um, uh, also joining us is uh, Bert Sliggers on uh, Twitter. So he is also able to, uh, to answer any of your questions. So please use uh, hashtag VPROBGL, dus hekje VPROBGL in je Twitterbericht en dan zien we ze voorbij komen. And we're still waiting for the webcam images, apparently. Sounds ready. I think people are not seeing us yet. But we'll just. Uh, maybe Hans, you can tell something about the uh, broadcast. You can do it in Dutch if you like. In general? Yeah. Uh, okay, this uh, the broadcast that we've just done is <coughs> basically, if you would uh, if you would summarize it uh, about social Darwinism, which is actually a a sort of. Uh, uh, runaway theory that that is actually not completely related to Darwin and um, which uh, started to come in being after the publication of of origin of species but especially after the publication of uh, descent of man in which uh, uh, people started philosophizing about uh, whether man also is sort of walking on an evolutionary ladder and then you start asking yourself questions is this specific population nearer to monkeys and are those further and etc it's um, it's um, what what we've called in the broadcast the dark side of Darwinism it's not the fault of Darwin but it's the fault of people who took his theories to their own aims and uh, sometimes I would say pseudo-scientific purposes. Mistook his theories. Okay. Mistook, yeah. yeah. We have a question from Laslap. Uh, he's wondering, if we're honest, uh, what do we think Darwin's opinion was on this subject? Well, he, well, right through the center man, expression of the emotions, his whole uh, outlook, the thrust of his argument, how he was thinking was to connect mankind to the rest of the animal kingdom. He really was not thinking in terms of, uh, of um, races. So there's a little bit of that, of course, with Terra del Fuego and Indians, but he doesn't think that uh, at any moment that we're different species um, or that there's some kind of gradation to perfect man, the area. The only thing the program missed out, though, that I really uh, think should have been in there somewhere was that uh, it wasn't just the Nazis who, who misread Darwin, it was also the communists everywhere. Uh, but in a way, you can't blame them directly because after the first edition of The Origin, Darwin gets, uh, currently, he, he won't stick with his main idea at all. It becomes a talk about use and disuse, habit, the inheritance of acquired characteristics, though he never mentions the mark. So it's, it's, it's fluid in his idea. So the, the whole communist idea from Marx onwards, Marx actually wanted to dedicate Das Kapital to Darwin, uh, was that man could be changed by altering the environment. Uh, as we now know, from genetics, that's impossible, but that's absolutely what communism was based on, towards, move towards a utopia, perfect life, perfect society, just change the environment, it's all needs to be done. Um, and uh, if that meant killing uh, 30 million people, then so what? Perfection was in the sights, and you could change mankind in a late Darwinian way. Do we have 
we going to elaborate on that, uh, you think, Hans, in a further episode? Well, I think that, that Brendan has a very important point, uh, that, that, uh, that it was not only Nazism, but it was, it was, uh, it was Marxism and their strive for, for the perfect people, or the perfect men. It also zipped into uh, all kind of, of, of uh, funny little niches. For instance, in education, I mean, there were there were social Darwinists, uh, even uh, into uh, Rudolf Steiner's uh, way of thinking that uh, that uh, yeah, there were higher and lower people. If, it, if this was true with plants, it would be true with uh, animals and people also. It, it zipped. In a side of into all kind of uh, uh, things, and 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 you will still find remnants of it today. I mean, don't fool yourself. I mean, there's still some sort of Darwin, social Darwin, yeah. Darwinian uh, situation. I mean, sometimes people are even comparing the favelas in in in, in Rio de Janeiro with uh, social Darwinist. Uh, I just, yeah, you know, the, the strong ones get out and the, and, the, and the not so strong ones won't get in. Yeah, I was about to ask um, Sarah's joke, did it apply to botany? And I remembered abs absolutely the new varieties of wheat that Lysenko uh, claimed that he had grown simply by altering the environment of the wheat. Uh, and people who disagreed with him in, in uh, Russian genetics were shot. Uh, you could only be a Lamarckian. Russian botany. Perhaps you should explain Lamarck. Ah, well, Lamarck simply thought, and actually Erasmus Darwin published before him, so we should really be saying Darwin's grandfather, that uh, you could change during a lifetime. The classic example is the giraffe who raises a neck because it needs to, it wants to, wants or needs, it's difficult translation, to get the, the leaves higher up. Now, you do that enough and really concentrate on it. You will pass your, your, your new neck, your new muscles, onto your descendants. In other words, you alter the body, the soma, and uh, you can pass that on in some obscure way. We now know that's not possible. The sex cells are completely discrete, different. It's, it's not, a, not a possible route. It was thought that blacksmith's muscles, uh, you know, the son of the blacksmith, also had muscles. Well, he had muscles because he was, he was helping his dad from an early age. But it can't be done. But in some ways, there's been a bit of a sort of a re-interest in Lamarck, hasn't there? I mean, I remember reading that uh, women during the war who had babies that were slightly lighter because they didn't have enough uh, sure. food uh, ended up those individual babies grew up and they also had babies that were lighter yeah, at that's birth. Well, well, but that's yeah. more essential than, than environment. No, but that's been put down to a Lamarckian type of evolution. Let me just um, give uh, a little update for people that are uh, entering right now. Uh, 